Hey folks and welcome to this tutorial on the web and HTTP protocol. Today we will explore the fundamental concepts that power the World Wide Web, focusing on the Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP. By the end of this session, you will have a solid understanding of how web browsers and servers communicate to deliver the web pages we interact with daily. The World Wide Web is an extensive network of interlinked documents and resources accessible via the internet. At its core, it relies on a system of hypertext links allowing users to navigate shamelessly from one resource to another. This interconnectionless is made possible through a set of rules and protocols that ensure smooth communication between client and servers. Central to this communication is the hypertext transfer protocol. HTTP is an application layer protocol that facilitates the transfer of hypertext data between a client typically a web browser and a server hosting the website. Introduced in 1991, HTTP has undergone several revisions to enhance its performance and security features. HTTP operates on a client-server model, as a simplified breakdown of the process. First one, request. The client initiates a request to the server. For the instance, when you enter a URL into browser, it sends an HTTP request to the approximate web server. Second one, processing. The server processes this request, retrieves the necessary resources and prepares an HTTP response. Third one, response. The server sends back the response to the client, which includes the request content such as an HTML page, images or other media. This exchange is stateless, meaning each request response cycle is independent and the server retains no memory of previous interactions. This design simplifies the protocol but also means that additional mechanisms like cookies or sessions are needed to maintain stateful information across multiple requests. An HTTP request compresses several components. First one, request line. Specifies the HTTP method, the resource URL and the HTTP version. Second one, headers. Provides additional information about the request such as client's browser type, accept the response formats and more. Third one, body. Contains data sent to the server commonly used with methods like post to submit form data. Upon receiving a request, the server responds with an HTTP response structured as follows. First one, status line. Indicates the HTTP version, a status code. Example, 200 for success, 404 for not phone. And a reason phase. Second one, headers. Provide metadata about the response such as content type, length and catching policies. Third one, body. Contains the request, resource or an error message depending on the outcome of the request. Understanding HTTP is a crucial for web development and for grasping how data is enhanced over the internet. It is the backbone of web communication, enabling the shameless operations of websites and web applications. HTTP is not just about sending and receiving. It's also about how the data is requested or submitted. This is where HTTP methods come into play. The most common ones include first one, get. Request data from a server, use it to upload web pages. Second one, post. Sends data to the server like submitting a form. Third one, put. Updates existing data on the server. Fourth one, delete. Removes a resource from the server. Each method has a specific use case and understanding when to use which one is essential for building proper web applications and APIs. The secure version of HTTP. While HTTP is powerful, it lacks one crucial feature, security, that where HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, comes in. It uses encryption protocols like SSL by TLS to ensure that the data exchanged between client and server is secure and private. You will notify HTTPS in action when you see the padlock icon in the browser's address bar. It means your connection is encrypted and protected from hackers, especially on public Wi-Fi. How Browsers and Servers Work Together 
every time you visit a website there's a behind the scenes conversation between your browser and the web server and it happens in just million seconds when you type a url or click a link your browser becomes a client sending an http request to the website server the server then locates the requested file like an html page processes the request and sends back to a response your browser reads that response and displays the final results the entire process request process response happens every time you interact with a site even when you are clicking buttons submitting forms or watching embedded videos understanding this client server interaction is key to debugging and building efficient web apps i hope this video help you to understanding the basics of the web and the http protocol in a simple and clear way keep exploring keep learning and stay curious because web technology is always growing and there is always something new to learn thank you so much for watching